Hi, my name is Shanae. I'm Veronica. How are you today? Good. That's good. So have you been to a counseling session before? Um, I have one a little bit earlier in the semester, but I haven't really come back. I didn't really have time. Okay, well, I'm just going to review. Um, basically, I am here to listen to what's going on and to help you try to solve your problems and um, work on work on whatever it is that you're having a problem with. I'm basically just an open ear. So I want you to talk to it. And I want you to feel comfortable with explaining to me anything and everything that's going on. Everything that we talk about remains confidential and it will not be shared with anyone but me and my Okay. So can you tell me anything that's going on with you? Oh. <laughs> um, pretty much right now I'm just in this stressful state. Um, as far as you know, it being the final, the final fall semester, um, I'm taking 21 credit hours. Um, I'm also a part of the Kent Dance Ensemble. Um, I'm a dance major, um, and that pretty much takes up all my time. Um. Since I'm a performance major, I have to come up with a senior piece um, to 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 get earn my uh my BFA, and that's pretty much what it is really just stressing me the heck out. To be honest, because I just I can't. I'm having a creative block. I'm not really. At first, I was going to roll with my movement, but now I'm just, like, stuck, and I just don't know how to get out of my stuck. It's like a, it's almost like a writer's block, but instead, it's a dancer's block. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what to do. You mentioned a BFA. I'm sorry, but can you tell me a BFA transfer? Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Um, basically, for uh, dancers, um... I have to, I have to take classes as, as far as like you know technique, dance technique, um, five days a week. Uh, I also have to uh, take composition classes, learning how to choreograph. Um, I take notation classes, learning how to notate my dances. I take history, like <laughs> just everything that you would think that a dancer doesn't take, we take, um, in order for me to get my bachelor's of fine arts. I'm just basically saying that I have a degree in dance and I could possibly teach dance. Um, it looks better on my resume um, as a performer anyway. Saying that I went to school, I know, you know, I can choreograph, I can have my own company, you know, I can run my own production. So. Yeah, it does seem like you have a busy schedule. Now, you mentioned that you're stressed. Do you have any type of stress relief techniques that you do? Yeah, I do. Um, I listen to music, um, I paint my nails, that's uh, something that's soothing, I, uh, I write sometimes, sometimes I meditate just to zone everything out, clear my mind, um, but I really haven't had the time to do too much of any of that, I mean I listen to music and I pretty much paint my nails a lot, but as far as my meditation I haven't been able to really focus in on, on that. Now, when you say you write, what do you write about? Is it just blogging, journaling? Mostly just my thoughts, like how I feel that day, how the the weather makes me feel that day. It, it just depends on what I what I feel or how I feel like expressing myself that day. If I write. Okay, so basically, all these. How often do you say you get stressed and you do these techniques? This semester, almost every other week, <laughs> but um, I try to just keep a level minded, like most of the time. Um, and I, I mean, I paint my nails three, four times a week, and that's that's honest. Um, I I get tired of nail color changes, so I change my color of my nails. But other than that, like I listen to music every day, so. Well, it sounds like you have good stress techniques to help you release stress. So we're going to talk about some of your goals. I know you said you have a dance piece that you have to be done by December 9th. Do you have, what are some things that you can do to help you achieve your goals that have been completed by December 9th? 
well, I know I talked to my creative advisor, um, and she told me if I'm having a block, I need to find um, time to get back into the studio and to have time to myself in the music. So I guess one of my goals would be to um, basically get in the studio and create. Um, whether it's videotaping myself or, you know, having somebody watch me. Um, another goal would be probably just to listen to my music a little bit more because I'm doing this jazz style piece and jazz is mostly listening to the music and finding the, the rhythm and letting the music mostly move through your body. So it would definitely be to listen to my music um, more would be another goal. Okay, sounds good. So it's just for you. We have, you need to get more studio time in before the night. Mm -hmm. um, and to start listening to more of your music to kind of get the feel and the vibe of where it is that you want to go with your choreography. And your stress techniques sound pretty good. I know Paul's new nails. Pretty fast, they're doing it four times a week. <laughs> but, um, so it sounds good. You seem like you're doing everything you need to stay stress free, and I feel like if you continue to look at your underlying goals, that you will achieve your goals ahead in the future much more. Like I hope so, because <laughs> I gotta have that four in those four minutes done. So, yeah, four minutes can be a long time when you're doing something. Well, I thank you, and we'll continue thank our conversation you. next time. All right. Bye. Bye.